Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how we make a function block in GX Works 2 Simple Project. First we make a new project. To make a function block we right-click on the program folder and click Add New Data. Then we choose function block as the data type, give it a name then click OK. I'm gonna make a simple holding circuit block similar to the SR function block. First let's add some tags to the project. To do that we double click on the function block's local label. If we take a look at the SR function block we see it have two inputs and one output. Some label names are forbidden to use in GX Works too. The label name S is one of them. You will get this error message when we compile the code if it is a forbidden one. I will go with the label name IN instead of S and reset for the input named R. In the class tab we can choose if we want it to be an input, output or constant. Then we click on the small button next to the data type to choose which data type we want. For this block we need just 3 bit data types. Let's make the coding for a holding circuit. To do the function blocks coding we double click the program tab. Now we can test compile the code to see if there's any error. Then we can go to our main program and add our function block to the rung. To do so we just click on our function block and drag it to the rung. I will add some tags to the block and download the program to my PLC. Let's go online and monitor the program. As you can see if I trigger the in input it will hold the output active until I trigger the reset. The good thing with function block is that you can add as many as you want. I will add another two and add two more outputs to them. I will use the same reset memory bit for all three. Now let's compile and download the program and test it out.
If I now trigger my reset bit, all the outputs will turn off. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.